On the left, we have a very talented young man in Charles, and to the right, a Major League Baseball player, both with uh, fantastic talents and uh, love for the game. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Charles' swing here. Uh, very, very powerful, very fast swing. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch him play this year. So let's just kind of uh, take a look at some first setup moves. Um, you know, if I draw a line here, uh, we're a little bit closed. So body facing a little bit to first base. Um, doesn't Don't mind it too much. Um, we'll, we'll see how that progresses. Um, but you will notice that our professional is aimed straight at uh, the pitcher. So might be something we want to take a look at. Um, I do want to look at these hands. These hands look like they've got a death grip on that bat. So I would like perhaps a little bit looser. We're going to look at that. Obviously can't tell how hard you're uh, uh, holding that bat, but I'm noticing these biceps, a very strong young man. Um, looks like a, a little bit too hard of a grip. I want to hold it like a, like a baby bird or an egg. Uh, so we'll, again, we'll work on that. Um, so let me just draw a circle here. Let's see uh, how your head moves kind of uh, through the swing. And then we'll see how our professional moves during the swing. All right, let's set this a little bit to motion. So all in all, um, really good move. I really like that move there. Now that's a really big step, really big step. So um, if it feels comfortable, great. Um, but it, I would perhaps like to see it shortened just a little bit because um, what's going to happen is you're going to get real flat coming in um, and it's going to be really hard to turn these hips. So what we're going to watch is we're going to watch these hips. Um, so you, when you take such a step forward, your head comes down. All right. And that is why in large part you were hitting the T um, a lot of times just from that move, just from the move of taking too big of a step forward and your head coming down. Okay. Let's uh, progress a bit more here. Um, this is beautiful. Um, the fact that you're tucked in here and you're not flipping the bat. I mean, you're light years ahead of just about anyone on our team. Um, so congratulations. That looks really good. Um, this shoulder is way way too low though um, you're really kind of dipping almost like you're trying to hit a home run which um, i fully expect that you will hit a lot of those this year but a um, little bit too much dipping although we talked about earlier the hips you've got some good hip turn already so that's that's a good thing um, just goes to show the kind of athlete that you are um, at this point um, this is where things start to break down so i really need to be seeing some opening here and we're going to work on this but this is in part because you are in fact leaning so far back and it really started from that big step. Let's watch the professional here move. So we're going to step him forward. You can see how much more compact he is. You don't see a lot of extra movement, right? And what I'm going to stress is I really want to see this position right here. So you can see his, his elbows here. Yours was much more flat, and again, it's because how flexible you are. But if he were to drop that bat, it would just drop right on his shoulder. And so let's see where you were at. You were right here. If you were to drop that bat, it would fall behind you. Okay. So we're going to work on pulling those hands straight down rather than around and flat. So we'd much rather be at a position here. And ultimately, at impact, which is what matters most, do, 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 do. what I'm looking for is this. That's the move I want. Okay. So if I were to take you out to here, you'll notice that our professional here has tons of space in his in between his arms here, and and you don't. And I don't think there's a single player on our team that that does that at the moment. And so you see the bat is out in front of the hands. They're not in the middle of the hands. So if I were to draw into your hands there, where his bat is out in front, right, with his hands there, they're not to be in a line. Um, it's supposed to be set this way, okay? We're going to clear all this. We're going to clear all this. And then as we progress forward, you can see you got a real chicken wing going on. So in this way, you're not able to just release the bat uh, and just let it effortlessly extend. He's extended here 
and your bat's already coming up and you're coming back. And in large part, I think it's because of that big first step. Uh, and then everything just kind of falls apart afterwards. That's what we're looking for. And not too bad, not too bad. So what we really want to feel is we want to, let's start practicing with the finished position in mind. So I want to see this. And more importantly, what I really want you to focus on, Charles, is I want you to feel that position. I want you to sit and hold the bat and feel this. So where your head is a little bit more up. So I want you a little bit taller. I want to shorten this a bit. And I want those hands out in front hitting the ball. Overall, though, incredible swing, incredible power. It's going to be a fun year.